Hey guys, so in this video, we'll be learning how to connect our WooCommerce website to Google Shopping. So if this is something you'd like to learn how to do, then watch this video. Okay, so first you'll need to have a website with WooCommerce installed to get started with integrating your WooCommerce products into Google Shopping. So once you have a WooCommerce store set up, you'll need to sign up for a merchant account with Google. So you can just search Google for retail and then we'll just sign up for free. Okay, so now it's going to ask you some questions. So do you sell products online? Yes. And then we're just going to add in our website URL. Okay, so copy and paste. And then do you have a brick and mortar store? No. And then continue. So now it's saying you can share your products on Google for free. So that's what we're looking to do. Then just gives you a run through. So we can go to continue to merchant center. Great. So now you just got to fill out your business details. So let's fill this out. So this will be Sean's t-shirt company. Okay, great. So now we have a merchant account set up. So now let's click get started. Awesome. So now we just need to add our details in order to verify our business. So you can do that on your own. What we're most interested in is connecting our online store to the business and adding products. So we'll confirm the online store. Okay. So we're using WooCommerce so we can use this and then click WordPress WooCommerce. Okay, and then we're gonna copy our code and then go back into WooCommerce. So next we'll be installing a plugin that will allow us to easily add the meta code into the head of the HTML file. So to do that, what you wanna do is go to plugins and then add new. And this one over here, WP code, insert header and footer and activate. Okay, and then over here in code snippets, you wanna go to header and footer. And then up here in the header, we'll just paste in the Google site verification and click save change. And then back in our Google merchant account, we can verify our store. Okay, great. So now it's verified. And then now we can learn on adding products. So add or remove countries. So this is just a Canadian company. So it's all, we'll only be shipping to Canada. So click your country as of choice and then add a data source. Okay, so to do this, we'll be adding a link to a file that will be, that'll update with products every 24 hours. So go back into WordPress and then go into plugins and add new. And then search Google Shopping. And then we'll add this one over here, the product feed manager. This one requires you to set up an WordPress.com account, which adds more steps. So this plugin over here makes it a lot easier because we just need to generate the file. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so give the feed a name. So let's just say Google Shopping. Next, so we're doing for Google Shopping. The file can be XML. Okay, and then next. Okay, so now we just need to set up the attributes that's supposed to be included with the products. So we'll click next. And then once you're ready to publish the feed, then you can click publish. Okay, and then just adding more attributes. And then the filters are over here. Okay, so this is just the filters, but we just need to create the file to submit to Google. Okay, so everything should be default as it'll pull it directly from WooCommerce. Let's click preview feed first. Yep, so this is what we'll be submitting to Google. Okay, so yeah, so this looks good. It shows all of our products, so t-shirt one, t-shirt two, t-shirt three, and t-shirt four, which are all the products we currently have available. And then we're just going to update. Okay, so now it's generating the feed. Okay, so over here, we'll add the products from a file. So we'll just get the link. So over here, we can take this link and then paste it into our Google Merchant account as our data source. Okay, so we have that. And then update every 24 hours. Okay, this should be good. Okay, so now it's syncing the products. Awesome, so now we have our four products connected. Yeah, awesome. So now our products are being recognized by Google. So we have our two t-shirts here. So it's still being approved by Google, but we can check out all our products that have been added, but they're currently under review over here. So if we check our products, awesome. So now all our products are synced in our Google Merchant Center. We can edit them individually. Okay, so description, just make sure you have a description. I believe I didn't add a description in the WooCommerce product. So just double check the products after just to make sure all the fields are being synced over correctly. The product has been updated and then just make sure to fix these errors in order for your product to be approved by Google Shopping. So it says here just to wait up to three business days for the products to be reviewed. Awesome, so now our products are ready to be shown on Google Shopping. Again, just make sure you complete these steps as well as these are required in order for your 
products to be eligible for Google Shopping. This concludes the end of the video. I hope you were able to connect your WooCommerce website to Google Shopping. So this will be my last video of the year, 2023. And I'd like to thank you all for your support and views, likes, and comments, as well as the channel reached 400 subscribers in the first year. So I'll continue to post videos throughout 2024. And I wish you all a happy holidays and a happy new year. Thanks.